Jordan would face one of his greatest challenges in the 1997 finals. With the series against Utah tied at two games apiece, Michael had more to overcome than just the Jazz. Now the big story here tonight concerning Michael Jordan's physical conditions. He is suffering from flu-like symptoms. Uh, his status is uncertain. The bad news for the Bulls, the stomach virus that has hit Michael Jordan, and you wonder just how much, how long, and how hard he'll be able to go. In his weakened condition, Jordan was up against league MVP Carl Malone, the confident Jazz, and the raucous crowd in Utah. I don't know if Michael can carry the Bulls on the road against the Jazz. And on this night, it seemed that carrying the Bulls would be too heavy a load as Michael's illness had clearly taken a toll. Meanwhile, Utah was only growing stronger. Having won games three and four, the Jazz continued their surge. Exploding out of the gate, they raced to a 16-point lead in the second quarter. Stockton looking, whipped inside. Malone goes up, counts, and a foul. Everything clicking right now for Utah. In this pivotal contest, all scenes were pointing to a Utah victory that would put them in command of the series. But while Jordan was still drained, he was finding the strength to persevere. And through sheer determination, he would keep Chicago in the game. MJ against Russell to the free throw line. Hangs in the air, jumper good. Oh, shot. Nothing but net for Michael. Bad pass, lost the handle. Here's Jordan, comes down on Hardisek, goes to the glass. Driving layup for Michael. Throughout his career, Michael Jordan had delivered many brilliant performances, but he had never been more courageous than in this crucial game. Though his stomach was ravaged by flu, he was displaying enormous heart as he continued to lead the Bulls' comeback. A heroic performance by Michael Jordan. But battling his illness and the Jazz proved to be an exhausting task for Jordan. And each time he faltered, Utah was ready to take full advantage. Russell's open up, Bushler, slam, oh. a big time slam. Utah will take a lead in intermission. But while the Bulls still trailed, Jordan would grow even more determined in the second half. Really in between every possession, when there was a dead ball, you could just see it on his face, how drained he was. But then when the play would start, he'd summon something from within. Here's Jordan. Jordan looks in over Russell, faces the basket. Keeps it, seven on the shot, over the top of him, yes! Michael Jordan continues to blaze away, illness or not. What a play by Michael Jordan! For all of Michael's heroics, Chicago was still facing an uphill battle as the Jazz seemed to have an answer for every bull run. Bad pass, knocked away, but Malone runs it down with a good hustle, Anderson, baseline, a slam! But each time Utah threatened to pull away, the ailing Jordan would rise to the challenge, and throughout the second half, he kept the Bulls within striking distance. Shot clock at seven. Jordan shooting. Yes. Michael just laboring to get back to that defensive end, just trying to get to the finish line. Still, Carl Malone was carrying the Jazz down the stretch, and the question remained, would Michael have enough strength to lift Chicago to victory. Sweat just pouring off Michael Jordan. No time to rest now. Here is Jordan outside. Chicago down three. Puts it down. Drives the lane. A running eight footer. Yes. Jordan had become an inspiration to his teammates. And his remarkable effort had led the Bulls all the way back. They had finally pulled even with the Jazz as game five entered its waning minutes. Control of the game and the series was now up for grabs. And it appeared that Utah was ready to seize the opportunity. Loose ball, picked up by Harnesek, no whistle, shot clock, two, Stockton, three, oh for the lead! Another huge three by Stockton! With little left to draw upon but his will, Michael would try to make one final push. The score was tied with less than a minute left to play, and Jordan was the focus of attention. Could he deliver yet again? And all eyes here are going to be on Michael Jordan. And on top, Pippen wants it, wants to go on Harnesek. Demanded the ball. Back, Michael. Open three. Yes! Oh. They lead it. 38 points for the King. Oh. Stuck a dagger at him with a three. Yes! 
A courageous, classic performance by the flu-ridden Michael Jordan. Propelled by their victory, the Bulls would go on to win the championship in game six, and Michael Jordan had added perhaps the most amazing chapter to his playoff legend. It's all about desire. You just got to come out here and do what you got to do. We wanted it real bad, you know, and, and me as a leader, I had to come out and do my best. Somehow I found the energy to stay strong. I wanted it really bad. The effort that he gave us today was unbelievable, you know. As his teammates, you know, we should have stepped up and played much better basketball, but we really appreciate the way that he steps up and shows his leadership for our ball club. There's something inside of him that allowed him to compete when he probably shouldn't have. That was a game that a lot of guys would have probably just bailed on it. And he was just able to rise above how he felt um, and accept what he had to do, and, and he did it. Well, I didn't want to give up. You know, no matter how sick I was, or how tired I was, or how, you know, low on energy I was, I felt an obligation you know, to my team, to the city of Chicago, to go out and give that extra effort.